This offseason, the wait has dragged out regarding the decisions of Zadari Smith and Dalvin Cook, both seemingly not wanting to be in Minnesota anymore. Well, the wait is now over, at least for one of them anyway. Zadari Smith last night was traded to the Cleveland Browns. Full trade details. Cleveland gets Zadari Smith and a 6th and 7th round pick in 2025. In return, Minnesota gets two 5th round picks, one in 24 and another in 25. No doubt Z is happy now that the Browns reworked his contract, getting close to $12 million guaranteed. And that's a significant jump from the $5 million he would have gotten in Minnesota. And he'll be a free agent in 2024. So gets a nice payday 2023 and hopefully gets himself another big contract after. Started the 2022 season red hot nine and a half sacks through the first nine games. The rest of the way, just a half sack. So if you're a Browns fan, you look at the surface stats and say, okay, 10 sacks in 2022, that's pretty good. Pair him with Miles Garrett and the pass rush is going to be legit. And maybe it will. Fact is, he disappeared the second half of the season. And with the low guarantees, he wanted out of Minnesota. I do wonder if the Vikings could have gotten a slightly better return than two fifth round picks. But to be honest, I don't think it's anything worth raising hell about. You traded away a guy who didn't make quite the impact that you thought he would freeing up cap space in the process. So you can now sign the rest of your rookie draft class and you get two fifth round picks that you can either stand pat with or can package together for a trade down the road. I'm good with it. My question is, what took so long? He wanted out of Minnesota, didn't want to be here. Why let this drag out? Same to be said about Dalvin Cook, an aging running back who has problems holding on to the football. And yet, this is still a thing. Like, what is he, Jesus? The longer this lingers on, I just, I just want to focus on the players that want to be with the Vikings and the team that we are likely to have. This with Z and Dalvin Cook was and is a distraction. As for Z, you got your revenge sack week one against Aaron Rodgers. Congrats on that. I do wish him well, but it was time to move on. As far as giving up a future sixth and seventh round draft pick doesn't sway me either way because you're talking about two players that likely aren't going to make the roster. But I'm good with the trade. And after the Marcus Davenport signing, it was only a matter of time. Too much time, in my humble opinion, but it was inevitable. Now we just need confirmation on a Dalvin Cook cut or trade so we can finally look ahead. And now comments time. That boy Ray says, good vid, but you sleeping on fields. Uh, no, I'm not. Justin Fields, athletic quarterback, rushed for over a thousand yards last year, joining the company of Lamar Jackson and Michael Vick. But if he just learns how to throw... Oh my God, look out. Hey, that plumber down the street, excellent mannerisms. If he just learns how to fix a leak, he's going to be a problem in the plumbing industry. Just you wait. Yeah, okay. Lindstrom says, they need to sign Fletcher Cox or some other veteran nose tackle to have a shot at 10 wins. Well, Fletcher Cox is under contract with the Eagles. In fact, he and Jason Kelsey, they are Philadelphia through and through until they can't play anymore. But... At this point in free agency, you're not going to make a signing that's going to make a difference. Linval Joseph is probably the best nose tackle available right now, and he's not going to move the needle. Lastly, Perez Burrow says, I want whatever you smoking, bro. LOL, real talk. No way split with Green Bay. 11-6 is your prediction. Skull from the Bahamas. Love the content. Well, thank you, Perez. I appreciate the support. You have an 11 and 6 prediction. I've got 9 and 8. You're saying no way in hell they split with Green Bay. So you've got the sweep. I'm just, and admittedly, I am hedging with Green Bay just because with Jordan Love, there's so much unknown there. He's been able to sit and learn for three years while Aaron Rodgers has been playing. Same as Aaron Rodgers when he was sitting and waiting for three years from Cal under Brett Favre. And we saw what happened there. I'm not saying it's going to be a repeat, but I just don't know. So that's why I'm playing it safe. And I'm going to say they're going to split with Green Bay. 